But some say a footman should be inconspicuous. Not true. We are status symbols, the display of our employer's extravagance. The essential requirement is impressive looks, muscular calves bulging in white stockings. You can see why I was hired. As a frog, I excel in the leg department. However, although our role entails putting on a good show, we are expected to do so modestly. At least with quiet pride, one must temper one's physical superiority with an air of deference. In short, a footman should keep his trap shut. Now, it pains me to speak out, Sergeant, especially against a so-called colleague. But fraud is a serious crime. I'm obliged to snitch. Take this down. The fellow known as Fish Footman is an imposter. He claims to have taken part in a number of significant events, delivering an invitation from the Queen of Hearts, welcoming Cinderella at the ball, introducing beauty to the beast. If he was present at none of those occasions, the tasks were performed by one who would never dream of boasting about his contribution if he were not compelled by an overwhelming respect for the law. Proof? Is it not patently obvious? Use your head, man. A fish footman is a contradiction in terms. Fish have no legs. Can a creature lacking feet be a footman? I was born without legs. My children, darling little tadpoles, haven't got so much as a toe. This statement is clearly not prompted by prejudice against the legless. I've done my duty, Sergeant. Now do yours. <laughs>